Welcome back to Soccer Beach 2, everyone. In the last episode, Nene finally met our two idiot friends and uh, kind of felt up Ayumi, which was weird. But hey, we're kind of moving on from that. So She's it is still more attractive than both of them. I guess the next day or something. So <sighs> Momoko approaches me later. Oh, it's the same day. My bad. Seiji, where'd you meet that girl? I met her just last night. Right. <laughs> I won't make any judgments just yet. Well, thank you. Ayumi looked really shocked, though, didn't she? What was that all about? Well, where do I start? Uh, she grabbed Ayumi's... She th I would go with she thought Ayumi was a god. Why? Because if I tell her that she grabbed Ayumi's peaches, she's going to latch onto that. So? So we don't want Momoko to go along with what we want. We want Momoko to go away. Good point. She thought Ayumi was a god. Really? She sounds like an interesting person. Tell me more, CG. After quickly summarizing what happened, Momoko seems to be thinking to herself. That is really unusual, isn't it? How clever, though. She found a way to touch Ayumi's bust and played it off as misunderstanding. See, again... I think this is more kinetic than I think than we thought it was because it yeah. seems every choice we have uh, inevitably leads to both of the things. So that uh, whatever. You could learn something from her, Seiji. What are you suggesting? I'm not looking for ways to touch people's. Uh, I trail off as an image forms in my head. You're thinking about it, aren't you? You did that on purpose, didn't you? She leans forward and winks at me. Did what? Would an innocent, cute girl like me oh. ever suggest something so indecent? Good God. There's no way that anyone would believe what a dirty mind she has. What are you thinking about? Why are you thinking about that anyway? Um, I'm not, but I love it when Seiji thinks about it. <laughs> you get all hot and bothered. It's so cute. I just want to hug you right now. She opens her arms wide. Come here. Before I know it, I look down and... Uh, but if I do that, they will... Who will do what, silly? Then she looks down, too. She pretends to be shocked. Whoa, Seiji. Is that what you think about now when you want to hug someone? Uh, no, that isn't it at all. Uh, what's the point? Denying it just makes it seem all the worse. It's not like Momoko is listening to me anyway. Oh, what will we do with you, Seiji? Now you can't even hug someone without having impure thoughts. Uh, well, maybe if you didn't plant those thoughts in my brain. Now who did that? It wouldn't have been me. Nope, I am innocent in all of this. Just thinking of you and your innocence yet Sunday with the Hawaiian shirt outfit you decided to show me. What Hawaiian shirt? Fine. You're innocent, I'm dirty. Aw, it's no fun if you admit defeat. It's just like a Yumi's reboot mode. You make her enter reboot mode way too often. What do you mean? I haven't done that at all. Well, there was the time when your fan club turned up and tried to put a curse on me, and then Ayumi showed up and destroyed them, followed by you teasing her for the rest of the day. Then, when we were walking home, you said that she must really be devoted to me in order to protect me from magical curses. And then I had to carry her home because she stood there spouting nonsense to herself. That seems like an awfully specific story. <laughs> Might be more believable if the details were vague. Uh, it's perfectly believable because this actually happened. There's no way something like that could- Seemingly from nowhere, Nene appears. She's holding a bucket in her hands. I thought she went home. Why are you back? N Nene? What are you doing with that bucket? I can see an almost devilish grin form on Nene's face. Nothing. There is no way that bucket contains nothing. Uh, I thought you had to go back home. I thought I did, but not yet. What? I have a little bit more time, so... <laughs> Thumbnail. Okay. That is the first time Sakura Beach has genuinely made me laugh for the correct reason, I think. Nene looks like she's about to... I don't know. She looks fucking crazy, but this, in the correct this way. This is what you do at the beach. Take note, Momoko, Ayumi, you freaking weirdos. That is hilarious. 
With sudden movement, Nene throws its contents over Momoko. Cascades of water completely soak her from head to toe. No! Momoko tries her best to escape, but Nene keeps chasing after her with that bucket. Just how much water can this bucket hold? It's so cold! Momoko's shivering the entire time. Come back here! I'll drench you! Drench her? Uh, wait, why am I th- Wow. Seiji. Jesus. I got Go to Pornhub. I lightly smack myself in the end. The scene in front of me is only escalating, too. Momoko is diving behind whatever she can to escape the un- un- under-ending waterfall. That's a word. Okay. Nene is reloading her bucket for a second assault now. Don't think you're gonna escape that easily, Momoko. Momoko doesn't seem too pleased about the whole situation, though. I only just dried off! Just as she says that, a second cascade is already being poured on top of her. N Nene can re can't read the atmosphere at all. Momoko doesn't even bother trying to escape this time. Great streams pour over her, but she has nothing but apathy to offer. It's not often that I see Momoko do this. I guess she really must be annoyed. I was having a nice chat with Seiji and everything. Well, considering what we were talking about. Maybe this is Momoko's karma coming back on her. Ayumi doesn't often get her revenge at all on Momoko. So it seems that Nene has stepped in where Ayumi didn't. Finally it stops, and Momoko just stands there, wringing her hair. Can we go back to the hotel, Seiji? I need a hot shower. <sighs> oh, that's okay. I guess that's just where it ends. After an eventful day, I'm just lying in bed and enjoying some peace and quiet. Nene has made an interesting introduction, though things haven't gone quite according to plan. Ayumi seems to not trust her at all. Momoko was fairly upset about having that bucket dumped on her, too. Maybe it's just jealousy or her being overly protective. Since the confession, I think I've been able to read how girls think a little bit better. No, no you can't. Only a little bit, though. Okay, maybe. I still can't read Nene. She throws me off completely. Momoko seems to think there's no problem, but it's Momoko. She, she's probably one of the most accepting people I know. Reflecting back on the previous night, Nene did seem awkward, but I had no idea that it was this bad. She couldn't read the atmosphere at all, asked ridiculous questions on that greeting. The only question I can ask myself is, why? What has caused Nene to be so awkward? She also seems to be aware of it. In her own words, she said she knew she wasn't typical. My phone buzzes. Oh, I've got a text. It's from Nene herself. Hey, are you there? Yeah, what's up? I'm so glad you responded. Do you want to go stargazing tonight? Stargazing? Well, Ayumi would be opposed to the idea, obviously. But I did bring my telescope this time. So maybe it'd be worth going out again. Obviously, I can't leave without informing Ayumi and Momoko. So all so cautiously, I knock on their door. If I don't hear anything, then I'm just going to presume that there's no one there. What? What is this noise? I can't really tell what it is, but it sounds soft. Part of me wants to open the door, but another part of me, <laughs> but another part of me tells me that I should absolutely Listen to not that open the part. door. And I guess my curiosity has beaten me God this time. Damn it! Opening the door just a fraction, I peek inside. Huh. Pretty sure Momoko's boobs have inflated a little bit since the last time. Yep. Ayumi's look bigger, too. It's weird. Uh, so that's what the noise was. The two of them are having a pillow fight. Clothed as they usually are when they're both left alone in their room. Wait. Pillow fight? If they're doing that, then how have they survived? But it looks harmless enough. They're having too much fun and haven't noticed me. Take that, Ayumi! Don't think I'll let you win this time, too. We must settle this once and for all. <laughs> we already know what the outcome will be. Princess Momoko will rescue her Seiji from the Wicked Witch and live happily ever after. Ayumi brings down her pillow over her head like a sledgehammer. Why am I the Wicked Witch? It's just how it is. Ayumi seems to get irritated. You call me wicked. 
When you have such an indecent bounty, Momoko. Using her pillow as a shield, Ayumi knocks Momoko over. Holding her in place, Ayumi places her hands on Ayumi's chest. What? What? Wait, what? Using her pillow as a shield, Ayumi knocks Momoko over. Holding her in place, Ayumi places her hands on probably Momoko's chest. Look yes. at these things. Watermelons would be jealous of their size. That's a low blow, Ayumi. You're just jealous that Seiji doesn't stare at your chest as much as mine. Do women actually ever fight about this shit? I don't think so. I didn't think so either. What are you talking about? Why would I want him to stare at my chest? You know why. Momoko throws the pillow in Ayumi's face and her hands immediately charge toward her top. Within a split second, her bra is unhooked. N no fair, that's fighting dirty. All's fair in love and war. Fight one with honor is worth far more than one with dishonor. How could she say that when her fruit is bouncing all over? Ugh, these perverted thoughts just won't leave me alone. They giggle as they as their mock fight continues. They really are bouncy, Ayumi. Like you can talk, Queen of the Jelly Mounds. <laughs> J jelly Mounds? Don't give them a name like that. They'll be called the Jelly Mounds for as long as I'm called the Wicked Witch. What a childish nickname. But when I look at them, they do remind me of Jelly a little. No, I need to close the door. The fact that I've been unable to control myself is shameful. I quietly close the door. That was interesting. And in the end, there was no pillow to the face either. Just... Just pretend you didn't see anything. I think I can wait a bit longer until I ask them about Nene. After a little while, I work up the courage to knock on their door. Uh, hey, wait, you just didn't go? Why didn't you just fucking go? Uh, hey, Ayumi? Momoko? What do you want, you fool? What's the matter, Seiji? Nene wanted to go stargazing again. I'm going to be heading out, so- The door bursts open, smacking me in the face. A absolutely not! You're staying here where I can keep my eye on you, you fool. I take a moment to recover from the blunt trauma my face just experienced. Somehow my face has been able to shrug it off now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, it's a bad thing, Seiji. It is definitely a bad thing. It is a bad thing because that's just how much trauma my face has gone through. Who knows what kind of indecent things you do with a girl when you're all alone with her. What? It's not like that, Ayumi. She's just a friend, isn't she? Th that has nothing to do with it. You can't go alone. And that's final. Who are you, my fucking mom? <laughs> Ayumi, why are you yelling? Th this fool wants to go out stargazing with that strange girl. And I refuse to allow it. Oh, that sounds like fun. If there's a problem, why don't we all just go? I I'll go. But this solution works for everyone, doesn't it? You'll be able to make sure Seiji doesn't do anything indecent. Ugh, why do you have so little faith in me? I just know you, silly. Do you? <laughs> as much as you pretend that you aren't looking whenever I... Stop that indecent behavior. But it's normal for someone so hot-blooded to not be able to ignore my beautiful figure. I am not a per 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 pervert. Hashtag not a pervert. <laughs> you can't even say it. Stop trying to create this inappropriate image of me. An image is only what you reflect onto the world, silly. And I know all too well what you reflect. But that's okay. You're still my adorable, precious, silly Seiji, no matter what. I put my face into my palm. Just... Are you okay with me going or not? Momoko quickly pulls Ayumi over and whispers into her ear. I think it'd be fine then. What's with the sudden change of heart? We've worked out a compromise for the situation. Uh, a special compromise. Uh, am I allowed to know what this compromise is, or...? Absolutely not. Okay. Of course. They're planning to do something sneaky. You have nothing to worry about, Seiji. Do I not? Our compromise will not interfere with your date at all. Uh, who said it was a date? Naomi seems to get really mad when she hears that. Momoko, how dare you call this a date? That sounds like jealousy, Ayumi. Ayumi just quietly fumes to herself. Anyway, Seiji, you have my full blessing to go. Quickly, make haste. <laughs> make haste. Uh, hang on, let me tell her what time first. What? Oh, I quickly reply to her text message. I can go tonight. See you in an hour? Sure. There, done. You best not do anything with her, Seiji. Ugh. I'll know if you do. I won't. Really, I won't. That remains to be seen. 
I don't understand why you're reacting like this. Nene is just a friend, right? Nothing to worry about. I wouldn't do shameless things to someone who's just a friend. You don't do shameless things at all. That's precisely my point. At least not on purpose. Of course it's on purpose. It could happen. But she's just a friend. It won't happen. You say right? she's just a friend. Well, you say she's just a friend. Oh, Seiji, you. You got what I need. Yes. I could just go another three minutes with that. That will be all for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for another episode. Bye! Seriously, sing more on the channel. Okay.